Anyway, did I finish my intro? Thank you for coming. Welcome, welcome. My name is Cindy. I am at Simply Cindy. I am a psychic medium. It is Halloween, Hallow's Eve. Happy Samhain. Um, yeah, I'm magical. Um, so thank you for coming in. I thought in honor of today, uh, we do a little bit of tarot. Um, I'll be channeling, so we'll see what comes through. Maybe your higher self talks to me. Maybe your guides talk to me. Maybe your angels talk to me. Maybe just the tarot talks to me. Okay. So we'll see. I've kind of opened it up. They all know on the other side and the other dimensions, the ones that work with me, they all know what fun day this is for me. My perspective is not like a spooky, horrible, blah, blah, blah thing. Mine is sort of a uplifting. Let's honor these, this group. Let's honor these, um, women that went before us, these men that went before us, let's honor this time kind of thing. So let's honor magic. Let's honor, let's see. So they kind of know it's a lighthearted thing for me. Um, now, just because, let me make this very clear, just because I don't practice any ceremony or ritual, because I have a different belief system, doesn't mean that I don't like it. I can see it. I and, and and I love to see people do it. So, but I just have a different perspective. So, is the veil really thinner? Yeah, the veil's really thinner every day though. The veil's thinner today, sure. And a uh, one reason is because the consciousness, our bigger consciousness has made this uh uh this type of day, right? We are all creators. Um so it's made it this type of day where the, the veil is thin, but it's not because <clears throat> it's because we all thought of that. Does that make sense? Like the bigger consciousness thought of that and we create our reality, right? But um, every night between, you know, uh, anywhere between midnight and 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., the, the veil is really thin. So, and that's because uh a lot of people are asleep and we are resting our bodies and our ego and our soul and our higher selves are more in line at that time and so that's why it feels like it's thin that's what you guys would call it but it's really just all of us without our egos fighting us without our bodies fighting us without all of that happening right Right, we allowed this day to perceive it that day. Yeah, and everybody has their um, everybody has their perception. Some people, Christians, uh, but not just Christians, but some people think it's an awful evil day. Uh, others think it's a day of honor and they want to respect their ancestors. Others think it's a day like me where I'm like, I think it's cool. I love costumes. I love dressing up. I love doing that. And I I love that the children get to go out and have candy and everybody gets in that mood. And like, I love that. And that's kind of what it is for me. Um, but again, I have a different, I, everybody has a different perspective. But either way, we've all on a whole decided to make this day that, right? Rebecca, how are you? I miss you. I think we all miss you. Yeah, it's so nice to have you in here. How are you doing? Are you dressing up today? I mean, I know you're an important girl with a an important job now, but are you gonna dress up? My, my, my Gemini side wants to know, uh, we used to go to the cemetery to light candles for past loved ones. It was quite magical to see candles everywhere. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It is so wonderful to finally catch you. Happy Halloween. Yes. Happy Halloween, sweetheart. I'm glad that I was able to do it. I'm glad. I was like, let me come on and see my group because I missed you guys and I didn't see everybody yesterday. Just just for a little bit to um, before I go with my grandson and spend the whole rest of the time with him. I was going to dress as a court gesture, but it ended up staying in. I'm going to the cinema to watch a horror tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, we did that last night. So we did that on my Discord. 
Uh, we watched it last night. Uh, we watched The Fourth Kind. Speaking of Ellen and um, Polly, I'm not sure why y'all wanted in the Discord and then you didn't show up. Like, what happened? <laughs> so, do you guys like my card holders? So, I bought these about a year ago and I never used them. Oops, that's going to have to go forward. Let's see. Aren't those cool? I have more. I just thought these three I would show first. Let's see. Can y'all see that? I'm going to have to position them really well. They're kind of cool, huh? I know. Isn't that cute? I just thought, what a way to be able to look at them so the cards can be held up oh ten of pentacles who was just thinking of a question because the answer is the ten of pentacles because that came out to me because who was thinking about that who was thinking of a question because that one just like popped out to me like someone was asking a question so the answer is the ten of pentacles I have several sets. Use my long moon phase one today. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just thought they were cute. And again, I bought them like a year ago. I never even used them. Thought they were cute. I thought of how to write my question well. <laughs> Here's your answer. <laughs> There's your answer, Dot. Ten of Pentacles. You know that's the highest card for me. That Ten of Pentacles means you're going to reap a lot. That means something's coming to you. And if you were thinking financial, yeah, money's coming to you. Even if it's relationship, it's something that you've been working on, that's coming to you. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Dot, there's your answer. But, like, for some reason, when the, I looked down, I was like, whoa. And then I was like, oh, somebody asked a question. So. Yeah. There you go. I think those are cute. Really cute. So this is the Temperance. That was the other card that used to come out for me. So for a lot of people, you know, when I was doing a lot of tarot, they would say that the Temperance would come out when they were talking about me or the Empress would come out when they were talking about me. So the Temperance and the Empress are usually um, me. I don't know, though. I don't know now because it's been a while. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So there is something that you guys are... So this is like for the group. This, there is something that you're going to have to... I see this two ways. I'm seeing, and this is for everybody, so I don't know what your questions are, but Spirit does this. Your higher selves do this, where I can answer like this and you'll understand. Um, I see that you are leaving something behind in order to get ready to move forward with something else, but you understand that it's going to be a little bit of a struggle or a push or a... I don't want to say a fight. You're ready for it, but it's almost like um, packing your stuff up, preparing, right? And you understand that there are some things that you leave to, need to leave behind or some people that you need to leave behind. That's one way I see it. The other way that I, I'm seeing this, and this is really, really good because I have not seen this this way for groups, which means y'all are at this level that I have not seen before. Which is really good. So I'll say most of y'all. There are some things that you must leave behind. Some situations that you must leave behind. But it's not a loss. You feel like you made it stable. That phase is done. You are perfectly fine with it. And at peace with it. And you understand. Okay, I'm taking my tools. I'm taking my wisdom. I'm taking what I know. And I am moving forward. It's not a fight. 
but I am moving forward. Yeah, so. Karina, hi, Polly, hi, how are you? So that's for the group. That's the way I'm seeing that. Do you see these? So this, see his face? Like, I don't know if you can see his face really clearly. Hold on, I'll bring him up over. But that face, that's not a face of like anger or resentment or that's a that's a face of like I've completed that. I know that that's done. I've done my best. I did a good job. I know that's not for me anymore. I know that phase is gone, whether that's in a relationship, whether that's in a job, whether that's in a where you're going to live, whatever this is, it's like you're okay with leaving it. Uh, I wouldn't even say leaving it behind. It's like you're done. You're finished with that. And that's not a like, I'm done. It's a, I'm finished. I finished that. I finished the task. I finished what I did. And now I'm going to take my wisdom. I'm going to take all that I know, all that I've learned, all my courage, and I'm going forward. And I'm looking back for the last time to say goodbye. That's what I'm getting with this for everybody. So for most of you, congratulations. That's a really good space. I have not seen a group in this space before. I've seen people in this space before, but I've not seen it when it's a group. That means that um, y'all have moved in understanding. Y'all have evolved in understanding. Does that make sense? This temperance is here to say that you are honoring yourself and connecting. See this? See this? Um, I hope I can go right. Let's see. You see the water? So to me, that wine, that water, that is like um, two things. That's like your life flowing and being connected from other places, from other dimensions, from your higher self, um, from your ancestors, and flowing into the cup of, of physicality. Does that make sense? I know this is going to sound weird because this doesn't sound like most tarot, but this is what I'm getting. But I feel like with this flow, you're understanding, you're connecting, you're honoring, um, you under, you, you are, so a lot of you no longer are afraid. It was, it's interesting because we're on Halloween, right? But I feel like you feel like you're really being guided. I feel like, um, whether that your understanding is I'm being guided by my higher self. I'm being guided by God. I'm being guided by source. I'm being guided by my guides. I'm being guided, whatever you, or I'm being guided by angels. It's like you have this relaxation and knowing that you're protected, knowing that you're being guided, knowing that you're in the flow of things. And that's kind of what I'm seeing for that. Um, what I'm hearing is stay the course, just stay the course. You got the sun behind you. You got you've got these go, this gold growing, and it's not little. Did you see how tall it is? It's been growing. It's going to grow higher, but you have this. How do I say this? Like I've so for some of you, I guess your perception is because I'm seeing different perceptions, but the same thing. For some of you, your perception is uh, the angels are, are protecting me and nobody can hurt me even though I don't know what I'm doing, right? For others of you, it's like my higher self is protecting me. So either way, there's a protection that you felt that you needed or that you wanted so that you can relax and do your thing, right? I feel like you have been growing in this. I feel like this is going to get even more where you're... Not the understanding, but the growth itself, right? And these are gold. So whatever this is, is very valuable in this growth, right? Um, but you are being held almost. This is like you being held. Um, I guess in the flow of life, 
bringing down the things that you really want to manifest, the life that you really want to have, the way that you really want to be. Right? It's all lit and there's gold. Does that make sense to everyone? Um, for some of you, so here's the thing. I'm going to push this over here. Move this right here. Don't forget, if you had a question on your own and didn't ask it, <laughs> the answer is the Ten of Pentacles. So that's the highest card for me. Y'all know my money think my my brain thinks in numbers. That's a that's the highest card for me. Okay, so you're you're in abundance, you're receiving abundance. This is something that you worked really hard on that's coming through. Um so here's the four swords. I feel like a lot of you, um, this is what I'm getting from your higher self. The most important thing that I am getting from your higher selves is that you don't always have to do. Y'all have done a lot. You have tried to correct a lot. You have tried to overdo a lot. You have tried to, um, I'm always working on myself. I'm always trying to fix myself. I'm always trying to fix things around me. I'm always trying to go, 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 right? Your higher self wants you to understand that there is a time and a place for everything. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was going to be here. That there is a time and a place or phases for things in this life. That's the way this life works. That's the way life works on this earth. That's the way life works in the... That's the way the... Things move in this dimension, in this life, on this earth. Like, there's phases. We, we move in circles, we move in patterns, we move in phases, right? So, because we are on this earth and participate with these bodies, right? It is important that you understand that one of the phases is... When I say this, don't get upset because a lot of you have been isolated for years and think, oh, well, I still have to isolate. That's not what I'm saying. There's a phase of incorporating a smaller cycle of I work through something, I relax, I, re I release, I relax, I relieve. That means I rest. I rest. That doesn't mean I have to rest for four years like I did before or rest for three years or rest for six years or rest for eight years because I'm seeing eight too. Um, it just means that as I'm working on things, be sure to relax. Be sure to, uh, you work so hard at your modalities. You work so hard at trying to fix things, but you don't relax because some of you have this issue of thinking Especially these Pluto six house people, you have this issue of thinking if I just make it better, if I just make everybody else better, if I just do it better, if I just become better, if everything just put on me and then I make it right, then it's going to be okay. Then it's going to get better. So if I work harder or if I do better, then I'm going to, it's going to be better. And that hasn't happened. <laughs> Because that's not the way it's supposed to go. Sorry, I keep doing this. Um, that hasn't happened because that's not the way it's supposed to go. That's a, that's a wound that you have, right? And this is important for you guys to understand this. That there's phases, right? And so some of you have this phase, Aquarius, where you have been isolated for a lot of years now. And it's time for you to come out, right? But for others of you who have come out and are Aquarius, but not just Aquarius, I'm just picking on them. But if you come out and you're afraid to relax, you're afraid to, because I'm getting this big time with um, the Four Swords. If you're afraid that if you stop, <laughs> I'm feeling that same, like, I'm afraid that if I stop, I will never start again. That to me is overworked. You're, you're overworked. Um, but there are other people where I feel like they're afraid because the last time they decided to begin to heal, it took four years. It took eight years. It's taken six years, right? And so they're, they're, uh, there's a little bit of fear there of relaxing. Does that make sense? So, um, 
I'm feeling like it's time for, for some of you to understand that you're going to work. You don't always have to fix something. Um, these are phases that we have, and it's time for you to relax in between. And that means really relax. Because if you're sitting there relaxing, but you're thinking about everything else and worrying about everything else, then what's the point? What's the point? Because you're not really doing it. Which means that you misused your relax time. Does that make sense? Like, you didn't even really relax. So you're going to have to do it again. And you have to do it again. And then it's going to get you upset. Because you're like... How much longer do I have to relax? And the universe is like, uh, once if you just do it correctly for your body. You're welcome. You're welcome. So that's what I got there. Those are just the cards that I pulled real quick. Really quickly. Really quickly. But I don't know why this, this one is sticking out to me. So this must be really important for some people. Um... You've already done a lot of work. You don't always have to work. Remember, you're changing your lineage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. A lot of you, a lot of us, waited for the day. Like when we were younger, we were working so hard. And we had families and we had lives, but we were working so hard. And we were like, I cannot wait for the day that I don't have to work so hard. Well, for some of y'all, that day has come. But for some reason, y'all still think you need to work hard. I think maybe that's the important message here. You need to enjoy that phase. Enjoy this phase that you're in. Because if you're working with me, trust me, there's going to be a time where you're like, oh, God, I need a break. <laughs> mm. All that makes sense to everyone? I work at silly things. <laughs> Good. Was thinking about rest and working smarter today. Yeah. Okay, I will listen. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited about this for some of you. That's leaving this, leaving this behind. You're leaving it behind and it's usually when I feel that, I feel like you're leaving it behind. It was so, it was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm just, I've got to drop that. I'm not doing that anymore. Like that kind of leaving behind, but I don't feel like that with this. I feel like it's, um, like it's completed. Like you're good with it. You're glad it happened. You're glad you're finished with it. You did a good job. You're proud of yourself. Uh, it is stable, whatever this is. For some of you, maybe your children too, because I'm seeing your children where you're like, I've taught them well. I've done the thing. Um, but that's not for everybody. I just feel like for some of you, it's that. It's like we're in a new phase. I'm headed forward. I've got a lot of wisdom. I've learned a lot of things. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> Kathy, Netflix and chill for you too, huh? Yeah, exactly. When you can sit in silence, and I'm not saying you have to do that today, but this is what this is about. When you can sit in silence, like I've told you, I could be by myself for days and never talk, right? When you can sit in silence, no phone, no computer. That's why I was like, that's why we were fine. I was fine with the power outage because I know how to sit in silence. I had to learn, right? Because I used to work a lot, right? In my other career. But when you can sit in silence and it doesn't bother you and you get into different spaces, some of creativity, some of learning, some of peace, some of imagination, 
when you can get into those spaces without pushing yourself, without worrying about what email or who's calling or what's texting or am I going to miss the show or am I going to miss a, a live or am I going to miss something? When you can sit in silence, I know you've gotten there. <clears throat> Yeah. And to learn to surrender it. Yeah. When you can just sit. It's such a wonderful space to be in. But you have to train yourself to be there. Right? And like I remember when uh when I was at work and people would say, I'm I'm you know, I'm gonna take off for work. Da 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 I'm like, sure, take off. You know? I mean in our company we have mental health days. So i you know, I'd I'd encourage that. I'd say take a mental health day. And don't open your email and don't pick up a phone and don't because, and they were like, but what if such and such? I'm like, I don't care. What's the point of you taking a mental health day if all you're worried about is over here? Then you're just sort of uh, wasting that mental health day. Like, learn to be silent. Our minds are going all the time, and that's what they should do, right? Your mind is like a, a machine. It's supposed to go. It's supposed to do its thing, right? But there is a space, which is called our soul, which is connected to our higher self, which is, which is energy, where we can understand that we can separate from the body, from the consciousness. And yes, I said from the consciousness, because there's an even bigger space than the consciousness when you can learn how to go from the body to the energy to the spirit to the consciousness to the all there's magic there there's magic in doing that we'll say that yeah Sandy, Rebecca, all of you guys are here. Alejandra, when did you show up? Alejandra, I'm so happy. Hello, beautiful group. Oh my gosh, everybody's here. That's temperance, right? Yeah, that is temperance. Yes. Sorry, Alejandra, I didn't even see. I didn't even see you that you were here. Let's see. What am I missing? I thought I was reading. Learn to surrender it, yeah. I was without a phone for a week and I was okay with it. Yeah, that's good. That's great. I do that for myself. Like, when I leave somewhere, I don't take my phone. I don't take my phone at all. And I know, like, David or my friends will be like, they used to. David knows already, but my family used to get on me about that. They're like, you didn't take your phone? I'm like, no. I I was brought we were brought up with the phone in the in the kitchen. I mean, when I got to high school, I finally got a phone in my room. <laughs> I know that was a long time ago, and I know that since then we've had cell phones, but I still have that mentality. If I don't want to be reached, I don't want to be reached. You know, and some people freak out. And they're like, but what if it's an emergency? I'm like, well, you'll deal with it till I get back, won't you? I'm no longer in the healthcare field. There are no emergencies. I'm no longer, I no longer do that. <laughs> There's no emergency. I'm at work and have my phone in my pocket listening to you. <laughs> That's awesome, Sandy. <laughs> but yeah. That's also taught me that. Like, I don't have to walk around with a phone. I don't have to walk around with electricity. I don't have to walk, like, you know, I know millennials or even Gen Z would be like, well, how do you get from A to B? You you learn. <laughs> we grew up with a map. We grew up with a map on a paper. You know? I always, always, when I get to a new place, I go get lost for a couple of days. Y'all know this about me, those of you that have been with me forever. When I would go to different countries, 
take my daughter with me. My husband was working. I, we'd go get lost for a couple days and find our way back home. Because I need to know where everything's at. Right? So, yeah, when you can learn to, like, be with yourself and be at peace. That's what this is about. It's so freeing. It's freeing. I mean, it's not... When you're dating, it's probably not a good thing because I lost a lot of boyfriends that way <laughs> before I stopped dating. I would call people back. It would be two weeks later. And they were really upset and I'd be like, I just talked to you the other day. <laughs> A few months ago, you told me, Cindy, that my tears of joy would overweigh, would outweigh the tears of sadness. I've cried. Girl, you were so right. It's so freeing having a healthy mind and heart. It is. I'm so happy for you, Alejandra. So happy for you. I'm glad. I want each of you guys to find that space. Yeah. Like, this isn't just a reminder for you guys. It's a reminder for me, too, as as uh, putting this group together, right? It's like, have fun. That's why we did the party. That's why I'm taking, you know, a day that some people would find so offensive and so dangerous. It's like, no, let's just gather and have some fun. It's a scary movie. I explained to you guys how I thought about scary movies. They're just a movie. You know? It's your perception. Right? It's not always about trying to fix yourself. Right? It's about remembering, or for the first time, some of, some of you, for the first time, to be happy. To be joyous. To see the world in a different light. To see it with such childlike anticipation. Leos are really good at that. Leos are very good at that. Sometimes they forget because they can go into their lion mode and sulk for a minute. But they're really good about that. The best are the Geminis. Geminis just excited about research, excited about learning, excited about exploring and talking about it, right? But some people have never gotten that. They they don't understand that space. They've never been there, right? And as I put this group together, as this group is coming together, I want you guys to understand it's not all about like you're broken and I got to fix you or you got to fix you or whatever. It's not that. All that stuff is just layers from different lifetimes, from what you, from your DNA, from all of that. And we work through that. But it's not just that. It's being happy. It's being at peace. It's having joy. And that is a hard thing for those of us that have been to hell. For those of us that have been to hell and have come back, it's almost like PTSD. What do we do now? I'm so used to fighting. I'm so used to struggling. I'm so used to trying to overcome. I'm so used to that. What What is this? I hear about this. I see people doing it, being joyful and being happy and being abundant. But I don't know about that because I've never had that. That's part of what we're wanting to experience as a group and by ourselves. Right? Geminis are so wise in the subjects they are interested in. Yeah, they they are. They are. Like I've said to you guys, old wise souls to me are those that laugh and play and smile. Nailed it with this PTSD thing is spot on. Yeah, it is. It is. Nailed it with PTSD. 
it is. It's like, what do I do? I'm so used to having to survive. I'm, I've been to hell. I danced with the devil. But you know why I include I danced with the devil in that phrase? Because I want you guys to understand who you are. Because even in hell, you were trying to play. So I know you know somewhere in there, there's joy. You just have to discover it. You are, you are part of joy. Joy is part of you. You are part of joy. Joy is part of you. Happiness. Peace. Those are all attributes, part, characters, characteristics that you can, that you have, not can have, that you have. They've just been layered with the shield, with the sword, with being a warrior. And like I said, let's do what my uncle couldn't do, right? And I'm sure you guys have uncles and aunts and grandparents and great-great-grandparents and great-grandparents and maybe even siblings and, and parents who are like my uncle who couldn't integrate back once he came back, right? Who decided to isolate himself for the rest of his life for fear of himself and for fear of hurting others. Right? Let's do that. Let's honor our ancestors in that. Because that's what they're asking us to do. They're like, you be the joyous one. You're, you're so smart. You're such a wise soul. You can do it. We couldn't do it. This world now is made for you to do it. I carry a bottle of bubbles in my car and blow them when people need a smile. Yep, I get strange looks, but I also get lots of smiles. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It's so funny because the hardest thing for us is going to be able to sit in happiness, sit in joy, experience that, right? And when your focus is... I am joyous. I am peaceful. I am so happy. Um, and when you begin to experience that, what do I? What did I say? What What have we said <laughs> about manifesting? It's just gonna start showing itself out there, because that's how we create. We're in the resonance. We're in the frequency, and then it just starts unfolding for us in the physical, right? So. For some of you that have an issue with, I try to get this and it won't happen, don't look at that anymore for right now. Come back to you and sit in the space of joy, of happiness, of peace, and then abundance. But don't sit in that space of abundance first because those are like trigger words for some of you. Sit in joy, sit in peace. Sit in happiness. Sit in that. Get that. Become that resonance. And things will just unfold for you. The universe already knows that you want that. You already told it. You've already tried it so many times. It knows. And it's been trying to get it to you. But you're not getting the frequency. But maybe in the frequency of joy. Maybe in the frequency of love. Maybe in the frequency of authenticity. Maybe in the frequency of happiness. All of a sudden, that's the thing that makes you happy. So it's going to unfold for you. Does that make sense to you guys? That's what I'm getting. That message is for me. I claim it. I'm claiming it too. <laughs> it's, for all, it's for all of us. <laughs> it's for all of us. Like for me, the joy of being around my grandson and watching his innocence. And what where, where other people may see struggles for him, I see his innocence. 
I see his way. I see a different way. Right? Being close to my, my daughter gives me such joy and happiness. I am at peace going to bed every night knowing that they are safe, that they are good, that they are happy, that they have smiles on their face. And that's that's the resonance for me. And as I've done that, things are just unfolding for me. That's why I keep telling you, oh my God. <laughs> Another thing has happened. Another thing has happened. Another thing has happened. Does that make sense? Slowing down and watching the gears of the clock of time moving helps me enjoy being human being. Don't just be a human doing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? And don't be like me. Speaking of, like, don't be like me. I'm so stubborn, and this is over a decade ago, okay? This is over a decade ago. But some of y'all might be there because it's being brought to my attention. Don't be like me where your body's trying to tell you to stop, but you're in such trauma or used to always trying to survive, always trying to overcome, always trying to blah, 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 that you don't pay attention and you keep working and you see it and you ignore it and then all of a sudden bam it's like one way or another pluto in astrology we can call it pluto okay one way or another you are going to stop you are going to learn because you are not your ancestors you are going to learn to stop to slow down to get out of the fight or flight, to be at peace, to learn about love, to learn about authenticity, to learn about peace, to learn about joy, to learn about happiness. But in order for us to teach you that, because that's what you wanted to, you that's the way you want to live the rest of your life, I've got to make you stop so your body, all of a sudden you got a lot of things going on and you're forced to stop. Now you can do that like I did it. But I'm telling you, there's a better way, which is why I went through all that so that to help people not go through that. Right? Because I'm stubborn and I'm Aquarius and I'm a medium and I think I know better. And I didn't. So what happened? My body was forced. It stopped me where I couldn't move and I had to be still and I had to know what stillness was. And that wasn't. Um, the universe going against me and that wasn't the universe or God or my higher self or the angels or, or anybody being mean to me. It was them helping me <laughs> and me having to stop and having to understand and not getting to go to work. Mm -hmm. So, Ellen says that's a major theme in so many right now. I keep saying you have to slow down or else. And sadly, most are getting the body slam and being forced to stop. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not unique in that way. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people before me and plenty of people that are going to go after me that do it. Right. But I'm saying you can do it my way and be stubborn and you, you get these red flags and you get these symptoms and you get these blah, blah, blah. Um, and you're ignoring them until your body just can't handle it anymore. Right. Or, or, <laughs> or you can listen a little bit to what I've said earlier, what I just channeled. Which is to just learn what, for those of you that are overachievers like me, for those of you that are type A's like me, make this your goal, okay? Instead of, I got to keep going, I got to do the thing, I got to think of, I've already mastered how to do that. What I haven't mastered is how to be joyful. 
how to be peaceful, how to be loving, how to how to love myself. I have a master of that. I have a master of authenticity. I haven't mastered joy. I haven't mastered that. And if you can see it that way, you type A's and overachievers. If you can see that, then it'll get you into that position instead of this position over here where you're overworking, overdoing, and then your body's just going to slam you. Because it's going to slam you one way or another. If that's your path, it's going to slam you. I'm still here to help. You know, we still have herbs, we have hypnosis, we have tarot, we have astrology, we have mediumship. We have, I have all the modalities, okay? And we can get you there. Just depends on how much you want to struggle doing it. Right? I'm going to pretend the outside world craziness doesn't exist as much as possible. And just do the holidays and enjoy the family stuff this year. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm tired of being forced. So I'd rather enjoy some baking, rapping, music, etc. And smile every now and again this year. Yeah. I mean, my, my daughter and I have already been planning. Like. We already know. I, we, we already got all the baking stuff. We've got all the stuff because, you know, I'm going to be traveling too. So I'm traveling and coming back and then I'm traveling again and then I'm coming back and then I'm traveling again. Like I'm traveling. But in that, I know how to be in the moment, right? And it's very important because my daughter's a baker. It's We've been doing this since she was a child and we were in different countries and whatever. We always bake together. We always make cook. She she's a great baker, so I'm kind of just decorating what she tells me to do. But she's the baker. I'm the cook, right? She'll be baking. I'll be cooking. We already have a list of you know. We always and this isn't to try to show everybody that we're goody two shoes because we're not. <laughs> but we always give to like the people that I get coffee from. We'll bake for them. We bake for the fire department, the police department. The library the whoever we see during the year we bake them stuff and that's who we give out um during the season the holiday season right not because it's a lot of work not because we want to be recognized but we want them to know that we see you and we want to thank you for our postman even though one of the postmen yelled at me <laughs> but for our postman and just the people that we encounter all the time right that's baking. That's wrapping. We we go to Black Friday. We've always gone to Black Friday. Why? It's not about like, it's about us being together and seeing the cool stuff. My daughter, she's like her Mima, loves to see a sale. I've known that since she was a child. <laughs> We've done Black Friday because she loves to see the sale, right? Yeah, it's like that time is important. We are now, my now my grandson is there, right? And so now he's got to come up in that because we want him to have the gift of that. That was the gift of me and my mother until she passed, right? Which was not long at all because she passed when I was very young. But that was the gift, you know? It's like we spend that time together. There's there's peace and there's joy and there's there's work. I mean, there's work, we're cooking, we're cleaning, we're cooking, we're cleaning. I'll be doing herbs, I'll be seeing clients, um, I'll be traveling. But it's not about the rat race, it's about enjoying what I'm doing, enjoying what she's doing, having watching my grandson learn, right? The temperance of my nemesis, I surrender. Yeah. 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 I used to give, like, back in the day when I was working a lot, back in the day, when I made a gut ton of money, like, just God's money, right? So, um, I used to give cards to everybody because that was, like, the best way I could do it. I didn't have time. Um, so, we, so it was only time for my daughter and I and then my husband, if he would, he, my husband always, always, my late husband found a way to get there on Christmas Day or to get there on uh, Thanksgiving Day, like he always found a way. Um, 
anyway, so it was about like making it special for my daughter. Right. Um, and back in the days to give cards, but then there was this weird time where those types of places couldn't accept money or cards or any of that. So that's what my daughter's a great baker. She's always been since she was little. She's a great artist. So then we started doing that. So that's kind of how that came about. And now it's just tradition. And we love to do it. And we're in a new place. And she did want to do it on her own last year. Uh, or the year before. Um, so this year we're going to do it. Which is what we always do when we're together. Right? You can ask David. Because when David's around those years. Some of those years he's been around. He's eating tons of cookies. We're, like whatever we're baking. Whatever we're cooking. He's like having to eat. That. <laughs> so Yeah. I, I, I'm not saying this so you think I get not a good two shoes. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not any of that. I just want you. I want to sort of get you in that resonance of there is joy in life right where you're at. There's peace in life right where you're at. Do we have goals? Yes. Y'all know my goals. You know what I'm working hard for and striving for. But that doesn't mean that I can't be happy until then. That doesn't mean that I have to work so hard to try to survive until then. That's not, I'm trying to help you understand how to work in, how to work in love and authenticity and peace and joy in childlike wonderment. I'm like excited at what's unfolding. What's going to happen next? How am I going to be shocked next? Show it to me, universe. Show it to me, higher self. Show it to me, God. Show it to me, angel. Show it to me, whoever. Show it to me. I want to see. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. And each of y'all can do that and say, I am no longer afraid. I'm sure each of y'all can say that. Because if you really think about it, you've been through worse. A lot worse. You're no longer afraid. Remember what I said about Pluto? Pluto. He's going to make you afraid and you can only be so afraid until you're just no longer afraid. And then you stand up. Yep, same for us. Cards, cookies, platters, teacher and coach gifts. We did cookie platters for neighbors here, but too many have diet restrictions. Now we give them Doug's work. <laughs> the PO, etc. Right. Yep. Again. I I hope that each one of you finds peace. I hope that each one of you this my energy sending out to you guys right now. And honestly, this is probably the real spirit of witch witches, right? Um is the energy I'm sending out to you guys is as we come into the season, as because to me Halloween's the start of the season, right? So as we come into the season of Thanksgiving, of Christmas, of New Year's, as we go into that season, I hope that each one of you, that's my resonance. I hope that you guys feel my resonance and get in that resonance of peace. I hope that you have joy. I hope that you have actually... I don't hope. I know you will. I have to do a step into this resonance. You'll 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 be in joy. You'll be in peace. You'll be in love. You'll be in authenticity. And guess what? With all that, you'll be in abundance. And excited for how it unfolds and how you can come and tell me. Right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. all right well see that never goes like i think it's gonna go <laughs> when i start channeling <laughs> they always know better than us and i wouldn't say they as in a separate they i mean they as in my higher self and your higher selves our higher selves uh, some of you call that God, source, whatever you call that. Yeah. Are working with each other, one another. 
right? So that's how I see it. Halloween is the start of the season for our holidays. Yeah, I agree. So I pull cards for at the beginning. Let me pull cards at the end here. Now that everybody's here, it's time for me to go and get ready. I know. I'm going to pull one card for everybody. Let's see. Really quickly. Oh, I cannot believe I shuffled those without them flying everywhere. Okay. Here we go. One card for everyone. And we got the Five of Pentacles. So you guys know what the Five of Pentacles is, right? To me, that's a card of depletion, a card of... I'll pull another one to see where this is going, but that's the card of lack. That's the card of... Um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy, Kathy. That's the card of lack, the card of depletion, the card of, um, you know, I'm just not... I have to struggle, I'm without, I don't have enough, da-da-da-da-da, right? So where are they going with that? I see be the king of swords. So here. So in order to get out of that, in order to work with that, be the king of swords. The king of swords is not afraid, which I know y'all are not afraid. But also the king of swords knows how to make really intelligent decisions with that, without it being emotional, right? There, there's emotion in it, but they don't. the emotions don't overtake them. They are a king. They've come from a lot. They are royalty. They're like the royalty that wasn't just born into royalty, but actually earned their way to royalty as well. So be that king, be that wise energy, be that... Um, humble energy and make some choices there are some hard choices to make but make some choices right i'm still getting the fight so i was like where is this going to lead to i'm still getting five cups so for some of y'all this is really hard this is really really hard right so i'm getting the five of, of pentacles which is lack but then I'm getting the five of sword, which is emotionally drained, right? The way to, to get through this card is to look at the cups that are standing up, which means you're looking at the wrong things. You're investing in the wrong things. Look at what you have right now. Like I told you guys, I see just the simple, beautiful little things that my grandson, that my daughter just, I walk outside of my place and I'm like looking at this beautiful um, the beautiful trees and the beautiful foliage and the beautiful stuff going on. Even though, like I said earlier, it's rainy, stormy, and um, windy. And to me, that's a blustery day. That's a beautiful day. Like, that's a Winnie the Pooh beautiful day for me. <laughs> like, for me. Because that's my perception. I find the beauty and the, and the sweetness and the adventure and the... Um, the love and just the smallest things, right? I had to go through all of that, going to hell, dancing with the devil, kicking him out, coming back. I had to go through all of that to see those things, to be in those things, right? But how did I get there? I looked at these cups instead of looking at the ones that I've lost, instead of looking at the fact that I've had two one spouse, one fiance pass away, my mother, my grandmother, my my best friends, people all around me have passed away. I don't think y'all know how many people I've lost. I've lost a lot. I've had a lot of trauma, just like you guys, right? But instead of looking at those things, I saw the beauty. When I say I went to hell, I'm like you, I went to hell, okay? Come back. I begin to look at what I have, what's in front of me, what's right there. Right? That's how you do it. It's just one day at a time. But guess what? There's another way to do it because I am already in this resonance and like attracts like, which means you all know the resonance. You just have to be in this resonance. That's it. And everything's going to unfold the way that you wanted it to because you've already practiced and done modalities and have 
really worked at at how do I manifest that? How do I get to that? Right? You don't have to. You just have to be in it. You just have to be here. And all that will unfold for you. We're all going to start feeling better by mid-November. It won't be all fixed. But we'll be able to get some breathing room by Christmas. That's my prediction. Hugs all. We got this. I prescribe warm cookies, milk, movies, and naps for everyone this weekend. <laughs> I agree. I agree. All right. Happy Halloween, everyone. Love you guys. Be the King of Swords. And not the warrior part of the King of Swords. I want you to be the softness of the King of Swords. The softness. I want joy and happiness. Okay? Eagle, we're just now leaving. <laughs> I love you, Eagle. I love you guys. Have a great, wonderful, happy Halloween. Uh, what's tomorrow? Friday? Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. You're welcome, Karina.